Hello, humans. My name is Luke Wildman, and today I am going to talk about being a dictator. So I do not mean the sort of mustachioed douchebag who wreaks havoc on history. I actually mean artists who tell their stories by talking to a recorder or talking to someone else and having that person write down their words. So obviously this has a very long and storied history. Uh, the Gilgamesh epic, the Iliad, the Odyssey, the books of the Pentateuch, all of these are stories and records that were first uh, told orally before they were written down. And yet somehow I, in my 28 years of worldly wisdom, decided that dictation was not for me. It was not going to be something that would work for my process. Uh, I think there were a couple of reasons why I resisted it for so long. The first one was I thought that I was someone who had a really high value for word choice and for the ways that like those small decisions impact the greater tone of a story. And I thought that it wouldn't be possible to be that intentional about word choice while working by dictation. The second reason was I have struggled with learning disabilities and ADHD for a long time. And I sort of internalized this idea that my mind wasn't as tidy or as fast moving as other people's, which is not really how those things work neurologically. That's not really how they impact people. Um, not, not to say that I'm an expert, but I uh, yeah, had these ideas. And so I resisted writing by dictation up until I went to Writers of the Future and uh, these two really good authors, uh, very well-respected authors, Kevin J. Anderson and Martin Shoemaker, they both talked about using dictation in their own creative lives and the ways that it had uh, changed everything for them. So I figured, you know, the worst that can happen is people won't publish the things I write. And people already aren't publishing the things that I'm writing. So I might as well uh, try out this new technique and maybe it will surprise me. So I took a story idea that I had tried to work on several times before and had never succeeded at developing. And I uh, started writing it by dictation, by speaking into my phone, actually. And um, it surprisingly worked really well. I finished the novel in, I finished like four or five drafts of the novel in like four or five months, basically. And uh, it uh, turned out well. I'm currently in the process of submitting it. Um, it was the first comedic fantasy novel I've written, and I am really happy with it. I'm happy with the way the rhythm turned out through dictation. I'm happy with uh, being able to like get that cadence of humor in there. I'm happy with the tone of the character and the way it flowed. It was the most fun I've had writing a book for a long time, whether or not anyone ends up publishing it. So uh, I want to sort of break down the reasons why it might have worked. I think that one of those reasons is I, like a lot of writers, tend to take myself a bit too seriously sometimes. I tend to treat writing as though it's some sort of sacred ritual. And whether or not like that's something you believe about writing, I know that there are a lot of artists who do kind of believe that. And whether or not you do, though, that's a lot of pressure to put on yourself. That is sort of letting the blank page tyrannize you and uh, letting it freeze you up and put all that pressure on you. So I think that writing, like when there's no blank page to be tyrannized by, you're just able to like focus on the story more and just let it flow. Um, and also you don't let yourself spend, you know, two hours writing and rewriting the same paragraph over and over again, which is something I did frequently. There is a reason why um, before going to Writers of the Future, it took me about four years to finish a novel. Um, so I think that that speed allows you to get a better grasp of like, like the big picture of the story. And then in your revisions, you focus on like cleaning up word choice and like cleaning up like those beautiful sentences that all of us like to have. So um, I think in those regards, it worked really well for me. I think the other thing is it allows me to walk around while I'm writing, which allows me to make like a stronger, like neurological connection. Um, you know, like movement is shown to be connected to creativity. A lot of writers uh, work out right before they start working on their novels. Um, and a lot of writers find other ways to like work while they're moving or they do their 
they're outlining at least while they move around. They use a notepad and like write while walking around. Um, even right now, while I'm sitting down to do this video, I'm not talking as fluidly as I would be if I was walking around my house. Um, so yeah, this book uh, that I mentioned before on being a dictator by Kevin J. Anderson and Martin L. Shoemaker, uh, it uh, has a lot of really helpful advice. It has some of the, the technical practicalities of what sort of equipment should you buy to write, and it uh, tells you about their individual reasons for doing it. Um, Martin Shoemaker, he writes because, or he writes by dictation because it allows him to use his hour-long commute um, and uh, allows him to turn that time that would otherwise be wasted into writing time. And Kevin J. Anderson does it because it lets him go hiking, it lets him walk around um, and like focus on his health while he uh, works on writing. And, you know, he's a New York Times bestselling author, so it's clearly working for him. Um, I am not at that level, and I also don't do things the same way that they do things. Both of them have other processes for transcribing the things that they write. So Kevin J. Anderson sends it into a human-based transcription service uh, where people type up everything, the recordings that he sends them. Um, Martin L. Shoemaker mostly uses a computer program to type things up for him. Um, that's largely because he is working in the car, so he's in a, a fairly quiet environment, aside from the occasional road race uh, road rage laced profanity. Um, actually, I don't. I don't know that he swears while he writes and drives, but I assume that he does because I occasionally do. Um, but anyway, uh, for me though, I actually type up my stories myself after I finish working on them, and I find that that's actually a really valuable part of my process because it forces me to do essentially another draft, but not to be constantly pausing um, while I'm doing that. So I can make like small word choice corrections and I can make like small shifts in tone or dialogue attribution and I get to hear myself um, which really helps me get a rhythm in the writing which is important for writing humor because it allows you to get a cadence of jokes and uh, like sort of time your jokes well and figure out where you need to like put a, a beat of silence in between jokes. So those are the main reasons why I write by dictation. Um, I highly recommend getting this book. Um, it is very useful. Um, On Being a Dictator by Kevin J. Anderson and Martin L. Shoemaker. So thank you.